one is to actually refine the sketch like make the lines more cleaner and easy to read and uh, the next thing is figuring out form so um, um, as I explained earlier you can use these clothing lines uh, to show form and there are several things that you can do to uh, show form in the sketch right so uh, similarly and another thing is to actually figure out what are the details that has going to be in this character for example now we have established that this character is from like a futuristic world not super futuristic but like you know let's say 50 years into the future so even though the clothing and uh, you know clothing maybe hairstyle wouldn't change that much you can you know if, if you want to change you can um, change that as you like but I'm thinking about incorporating technology we have already incorporated a hoverboard which is kind of a cool tech uh, so in the future it'd be like a, you know like a common thing and I was thinking about this protective gate you can see here in the picture in this picture so I was thinking maybe instead of just you know um, like regular protective uh, protective gear we have now this would be incorporated with some kind of uh, tech where you wouldn't actually get hurt so it doesn't so it's not regular gear it's high-tech gear right so some kind of a technological gimmick there like. so how do you show that so um, so when you generally look at futuristic stuff they are very minimalistic so as opposed to this one a futuristic knee pad would look much more simpler and you know more elegant I suppose line and a kind of this maybe this could emit light of some sort so I was thinking maybe I could go with something like that so this could be this whole could be like a <clears throat> like a glove that is basically um, like if you wear this glove you cannot get hurt so now I'm trying to figure out the form of the hand so again this is something that you need to learn by looking at references or what you can do is you can look at your hand and then sort of figure out how it looks in, in this perspective this point we're just refining the sketch I like the clothing um, the original idea I had was to sort of this kind of a 
I don't know what, what this is called, but like gym shirt, t shirt, I don't know. <laughs> so, so maybe this also has kind of a hoodie. So the important thing is, uh, it doesn't matter what you, the details you add, but you have to sort of keep in mind the story or the... Uh, excuse me. Oops, that was my mom. Just give me a sec. Sorry about that. Uh, forgot to put my phone on silent. So okay. So uh, what's going on? Um, just um, give me a sec here. Okay. What? Um, so yeah, uh, the important thing is whatever detail you add, you have to keep keep in mind the story. Keep in mind uh, whether the detail I'm adding actually fits the story. So. Yeah, I think this is fine just um, so something that people don't do is uh, figure out a lot of detail in their sketch they keep it too loose what happens if you keep a sketch too loose is that when you actually try to refine it or when you actually try to sort of um you know when you're moving into the painting or the coloring part you sort of uh, you sort of you, like you so what I'm looking for um, uh, you, you don't have an idea about a certain you know detail like or, or a certain form so uh, So what happens is you sort of have no idea of a certain place. like for example this right here. So I need to figure out what's happening here. If it don't, in the next stages it would be really difficult for me to figure it out. So this uh, shirt is coming here and probably just go like this whole loving body uh, so yeah so it's important to figure out details in your sketch otherwise some um, in the later stages you won't you'll find yourself in a lot of trouble
to the face later because uh, it's another important thing I want to talk about. Actually, the most important feature of any character would be their face. So let's just go through this. So I'm thinking about that futuristic kind of um, protective gear. So I was I was thinking maybe you could have like a sort of a pattern that make it look like it's made out of some some kind of a techy material. Maybe like a B pattern, but since I went with this Okay, fine, so I don't know what there. Is that how it works? Okay, so I have. How does an hexagonal pattern work? I have no idea. Okay, that's a hexagon. Oh, yeah, it has. Okay, alright, so. Has a, this kind of a pattern right here. So it looked like a futuristic gear. Okay, cool. It says you can also add notes like that um, when you sketch while you're sketching. So that'll come in handy, come in useful later. So uh, I'm just figuring out the other arm. So earlier I had this <clears throat> uh, like this braid. Uh, what, what do you call them? Braids, yeah. So and this idea uh, that she would have braids. somewhere yeah this one yeah, something similar to this would kind of cool uh, so put that up there and let's see how it goes so I'm not think like I'm not like detailing this a lot I'm just trying to figure out what I want so uh, wait uh, I don't know let me figure that out later that's yeah, fine so growing hair is also another thing um, you don't want to draw like every strand of hair you just have to figure out the form there's actually a form in hair. So as you can see the flow to it there's a certain form to it and you can do some crazy things with it like this. If you so wish. single strand of hair
below thingy. With the B pattern. Alright, I also have one here. Okay. And uh, shoes. Okay, let's give her some. Also, kind of techy sort of shoes. You know, it's super high tech. Not super high tech, but I believe that in another 50, 60 years, there'll be tech that actually can protect a human being from a lot of things. <laughs> So it's just you know. So again, I'm now this is this leg is actually coming towards us. So the perspective is like this. Um, compared to the other leg, which is going away from us, so it's that way. So there's things you need to know. thing you can do is actually you can flip your canvas horizontal uh, I can do is you can go to um, image image rotation and flip canvas horizontal you can use or you can use a shortcut uh, I have um, assigned a shortcut for it so with that you can see if something is off with your uh, sketch right away if your perspective isn't right of your proportions isn't correct your sketch if you flip it horizontal it would look really really weird so I use uh, I do that all the time before actually detailing the sketch a lot like, like uh, before going to the detailing stage I would just flip the canvas horizontal and find out whether something is wrong and this looks okay so there's no not much things to be changed so that's a good practice so you always flip the canvas horizontal and if it looks odd um, to fix it and flip it again and so we go back and forth now it, traditionally artists used to do that what they used to do is they would hold their sketch or the drawing up against a mirror up against a mirror and then check whether something looks off and trust me most of the time it does so it's better to just as a practice do it regularly so the face is also another important thing it's actually the most important thing uh, of a character because usually humans are programmed to look at faces so it's important that you grow the face well and when it comes to detailing I will um, explain that you need to detail the face more than anything else it's really important so in this stage it's important to clearly identify her facial features it doesn't have to be really detailed but you know just enough that you can clearly identify which is which and you 
can um, work on them later. So, we have our eyes. So, this could be an area where she is actually. Um, fleeing from someone and she's pretty confident that she actually get away so she's like looking at this direction and there's like some cops behind her and she's looking at them and she's smiling because she knows that they'll never get to her so yeah so that's another way you can sort of add stories to your painting you know, or how your character is drawing. So always keep in mind that these things, like these little stories come in handy when you figure stuff out. Try to incorporate that kind of maybe when I'm doing a background for later, I would, I would add a note like she's being chased by cops. So it's just quickly just so you can understand I'll just quickly add like a background to this okay so the perspective keep in mind so she is maybe I think she's hovering down a building that would be really interesting so she just saw something and she's just hovering down a building. So we have the buildings, okay, perspective, the windows. So, and let's just put a little cop here. He's just really surprised. What the hell is going on? So he's shouting at this girl. It's just, you know. She has a bad one. Oh, he has a bad one, rather. Great stories. Uh, <laughs> those little things in your bank. So I just um, yeah, get rid of that. Uh, so that's how you basically sketch characters. It's important. The, the most important thing is the basics. You have to learn the basics. And if you don't know how to draw human figures, if you don't know how perspective works, if you uh, don't know how to um, how line of action and anatomy works, you need to learn that. You need to sort of, like I said, like there are lots of videos out there go check them out there are lots of artists who teach teach this stuff and it's you know most of them are for free so check them out and keep practicing so in uh, the next episode I will teach you guys how to refine this sketch and uh, work with silhouettes like how do you create a silhouette and then values and lighting and that kind of good stuff so stay tuned and i will see you guys in the next episode cheers